Hi, this is Bob, and I've been driving Pontiacs for over 40 years. So when I sold my 2002 Bonneville and bought this 2004 Bonneville GXP, I was getting a little bored of the factory radio, so I decided to install an infotainment system. So first, let's get rid of the factory radio. And you can see here that this is one of the screens on our infotainment system. The first thing you will see is that there's no controls. It's actually a 7-inch multi-touch capacitance monitor controlled by a PC located under the passenger seat that has an i5 Sandy Bridge processor. So as we go on, on the new era of infotainment for our Bonneville, read the link below the YouTube to open up a document to see how it's done. Centrifuse is the program that's used to control the infotainment functions. But, let's go back to the beginning. When I start up the car, the computer automatically boots up. And with its speedy solid state drive, it's not long before the system is ready. This is what the Centrifuse main screen looks like. There's First, there's going to be two features that I'm going to show you before I get into the Centrifuse main screen. As we're ready to drive away, and I put the car in reverse, you can see that we have a backup camera, and between looking back and using the camera, it's really easy to make sure I don't hit anything, and I can drive um, wherever I want to, backwards without ran it, running into my wife's car, which I did one time. And once I put the car in drive, and I need to use a special remote control for this. You can see that I also have a front dash camera, so it turns on automatically as soon as the car turns on, and it records everything I see when I'm driving. And the way it works is it's located right behind the rear view mirror and it has an SD card in it that records in two minute segments. So after the um, two minute segment is up, it stores it on the SD card and starts another two minute segment. And with a 16 gig SD card, it allows about 15 hours of recording. And once the card is full, it starts overriding the oldest segment. So you always have the newest 15 hours of driving. So if somebody runs a red light and um, hits the car in front of you and then they claim they didn't do it, haha, ha, we've got them cold on the camera. So um, that's why I wanted to demonstrate the camera. But let's get back to Centrifuge now. And I'm going to be using my camera remote control just to put us back into the PC mode. You'll see on the main screen of Centrifuge that there are um, several different features. Um, programs can be, can be controlled by the touch screen and also from my steering wheel controls. The interface on the steering wheel allows a short touch for the main controls, which work exactly the same as they do with the regular radio, and a long depress of over half a second for additional functions, which I'll demonstrate later. There are four main screens, and on the first main screen, I can um, use the media player and play um, off of the hard drive on my computer. So that's what we're listening to right now. And I can look up music by my favorites. I can pick my playlists. So if I want to listen to alternative rock, 
um, I'll just find the song I want to find alphabetically and just press on the button and before you know it you have AFI when you don't want to listen to your own music you can turn on the radio and it takes just a second to load and this is an AM FM HD radio the radio is located in the trunk you can use your preset button on the steering wheel to change your presets what are the challenges of acquiring complex product when you have a radio station it takes about a second or two and the HD will show up on the display you press the HD button and you can get all of the HD channels that are on that station. So 97.9 has four HD channels altogether. This gets just as good reception as the factory radio and um, it has the HD feature as well. When I'm a little tired of listening to the radio, I can always turn on the Sirius Satellite, and it has my favorite channels. The Sirius Satellite antenna on the EFTA market is built into the shark fin antenna located on the roof of the car. You can choose your favorite channels and listen to um, anything you want to listen to. Um, I have a mostly music subscription, so I have about um, 50 different music channels and a few talk channels. One nice thing about having the computer is that it's hooked up to Wi-Fi, so um, on my cell phone, you can see I have a program called FoxFi, and when I press the little square and activate my Wi-Fi hotspot, it automatically connects to the computer. Google Maps is a program I use a lot. It's on um, internet and I'm using some of my data. But what it will do, and it takes about 20 seconds to load, is it will load the local map for my area along with the traffic. And while you have the Google Maps on, you can still listen to your music. So you can see after a short period of time, and I let it, um, I wrote a macro for this, it'll enter in the zip code for my area, and then it'll zoom into that map, and then the cursor will move over to a little button where you can click on traffic in about a second or two. It clicks on the traffic, loads the traffic up, and there's all the traffic for my area. And you can see that if you look on Interstate 95, right where my finger is, that there's a little yellow area going southbound that's congested, but otherwise the traffic looks pretty good. One of the buttons on my steering wheel is an Alt-Tab button, which allows me to switch screens. So if I just hit the Alt-Tab button, um, it'll switch me back to the main program in Centrifuge. The last feature on the main screen is my Bluetooth phone, and you can see right down here where my finger is that I have three bars and a Bluetooth connection, and the Bluetooth microphone is built into the steering wheel column cover, and it's very hard to see, but it's right behind the steering wheel, and um, it connects automatically in pairs as soon as I turn on the computer. I can import my entire phone directory onto the screen, and when I'm ready to make a phone call, I can just use the alph alphabetical um, locations. I'm going to go through all my contacts, and I'm going to make a sample call. Just press on the number you want to call. It'll show up the phone number. Just touch that, and it'll start your phone call and mute the music.
some reason it didn't mute the music that time. That's the only time I've ever seen that happen. So let me just give that another shot. There we go. There's also volume controls at the very bottom of the screen. You or someone in your household may have recently visited one of our affiliate websites and as a token of our appreciation. If you want to hang up, you just press the little red phone button on there where I use long volume down press on my steering wheel and that'll just hang up the phone and go back to your Sirius satellite. On the next screen, I have Garmin PC. So, in addition to having the Google Maps, I have my regular navigation and I can just use the Garmin PC just like any other Garmin. Um, I have a small keyboard that you can see right here that also has a touchpad on it. It's a little difficult to see in the light, but you can also use an on-screen keyboard if you want to. To um, please drive to highlighted route. To find where you're going. So if I want to go somewhere, I'm looking at a recent find, and I decided I want to drive to my store in Clarksville. I'll just hit go. Garmin's calculating just like usual. Drive to highlighted route. And it'll give me the directions and the map. And then go back to the music. The music automatically mutes. And every time there's a new turn or something, it'll mute the music and read out the directions in Anna's voice. So let's close that up for a second. And I'll show you some other features. PDA Net is a different way of connecting to the internet where you use a um, USB port that's connected to my computer and it's located on the dash and you plug it directly into the Android phone and use Foxfy and it creates an internet connection that way. An Android remote which is in the middle at the bottom is a um, program that uh, mirrors the screen of my phone on the touch screen of the computer located on the dashboard so that you can actually control your phone from the dashboard and it's a little buggy and it's not working right now so I'm not going to demo that and the next program you see is a DVD player um, and that also has a slight bug in it because there's no sound but I can also use Windows Media Player to play the music if I to play a movie if I want to my DVD player is located in the glove box and um, We can... I went to the prom 20 minutes ago with a boyfriend, Wookie. Wookie? I muted the music so you can watch the movie. And... Father Charlie, I'm Sheila, her mother. Chad, don't pay any attention to anything he says. He's allowed from there. Oh, oh, that's very funny. Well, he's having a lot of fun with the guy. It's problem. So this is something well, about Mary. Um, of course, I'm not going to watch these movies while I'm driving, but the passenger oh, hey, can watch the movie and I can listen. Oh, listen, once he gets into MTV, he'll be there for quite a while. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Oh, honey, you look beautiful. So anyway, back to centrifuge. I'm going to close this window and I have a button on the steering wheel that I just press for a long, the seat down button, if I press it for um, more than half a second, it just closes the window. WTOP is just a radio station that I listen to on the internet when I'm out of town. And Sirius XM internet is um, similar to the regular Sirius, except that it um, connects through the Wi-Fi and it has more channels and I can listen to all the baseball and NFL games on that which aren't part of my regular subscription. So this is back to the Sirius Radio again and let's look at the next screen. The next screen we have the weather app and there are a lot of apps you can download from Centrifuge. You can just touch on the um, weather button 
and it shows us that the temperature is 43 degrees right now and it'll give you a five-day forecast for your local area or you can enter in another area if you want to by just clicking on the search button. The Zonar DSX Audio Center is actually my uh, audio controls and they're a little hard to see and I use the um, portable keypad for this but there are 16 different sound profiles as well as about 12 different sound environments and you can change the balance and fade by using your mixer and there are four arrows there for the front and rear and you can move those up and down to balance your sound to make the um, rear speakers a little louder or the front speakers a little louder just to balance it perfectly for the car. So let's close that up and um, settings just allows you to set up all of your different applications in Centerfuse so they work properly. One other thing that I did was I hooked up um, a Y connector to my OBD port and then I hooked up an OBD scan tool that has a USB a connector on it to connect to my computer. So when I hit the OBD um, app this just shows me maybe um, 12 parameters that are on my car such as the speed, the intake temperature, the engine load, RPMs, coolant temperature, airflow, it'll give me the timing advance, um, and a few other parameters that are uh, found on here. Um, some of them aren't available on this app, but then there's also um, some other apps such as ScanPro XL, which um, will allow me to read all of my diagnostic trouble codes and reset them and it will also do things such as um, set up um, dashboards that you can show gauges or parameters and there's almost 2,000 different parameters you can use. The market is just the app market where you can download various centrifuge apps and just run a search and it'll show you through all the apps and then you just download them and they install automatically. Finally, um, if you want to watch YouTube, I've got the YouTube app, and if I hit Most Viewed, it'll load the Most Viewed um, YouTube applications. So if I want to watch Charlie Bit Me, My Finger, it'll load that on my um, player, and you can watch Charlie Bit My Finger, or you can search for anything um, you want on YouTube as well. And I'm not going to wait for this to load, because with the um, 3G, it may take a little bit of time but um, it's just a simple app that you can play around with or your passenger can play around with. And email is another app. I haven't set that up yet, but it will read the email to you while you're driving um, so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Um, and those are about all the apps we have um, on the Centrifuge. Um, so there is one other one um, that I didn't show you. It's MJS Gadgets. And built into the computer system is an automatic audio switch that has four inputs and um, it switches um, which input goes to the computer so it automatically switches between the radio and the satellite when you switch the application from radio to satellite but there's also an aux 1 and an aux 2 and I did put a three and a half millimeter jack on the dashboard just to the right of the heater control buttons and that um, you can plug into a phone or an mp3 player and then switch the input to audio one and you can play music um, through your um, sound system using the auxiliary input jack. In the glove box there's also um, a USB um, hub with four ports so if you plug a USB stick into it um, it'll read the um, USB stick as one of your input devices and when you're in the um, if you press on the music, it'll show it as USB 1, and if you just press that, it'll play. Um, a it'll show a list of all the music on the USB drive, and you can play any of that music. So when I press on it, it had the um, theme from um, 2001: A Space Odyssey, which is what we were listening to at the beginning of the video. When you're all finished with Centrifuge, you can also close it and. Um, go into um, Windows 7 and I'm just going to close a couple of these windows and on Windows 7 you can run any application on Windows 7 
that you would on your regular Windows 7 computer. Um, I don't have a lot of freestanding applications on here because I pretty much use centrifuge and I'm too busy driving to play with applications. But if I have a passenger and they want to work on a Word document or Notepad or use um, any other Windows apps or Paintbrush or play Solitaire, they can do that um, right from the touch screen or using the um, wireless keypad touchpad. So that's going to be the end of our video. Um, if you look at the second video, you'll see where some of the other items are installed. And don't forget to click on the link below the video to look at an 150-page installation guide with dozens and dozens of pictures to show how we put this whole system together. And thanks a lot for listening to me. And if you have any questions, just post a message on um, the Bonneville Club or below one of the videos, and I'll be happy to answer it. So long.